Sarah Hagan. Thanks for watching News 12 Connecticut. State police say they found the body of a missing Woodbridge boater early this morning. Officials say a person in a canoe saw something under the water in Lake Housatonic in Oxford and called 911. Any basketball at all? Lots of basketball, yeah. Lots, lots of, of basketball. basketball. Huh? I'm just watching this. We're sitting here. What are we doing sitting at this desk? I know. Come on. Right Let's get out get there. Get out there. Hey, bye, baby. You're live right now. Tell me why you want to be out here. Because, first of all, I'm in support of my cousin Justin. He was a 14 year old. And for so many others. Officials say nationwide about 100 people die each year from carbon monoxide poisoning. They say if you have a generator, you also need to have a carbon monoxide detector. Beck, you can see all that remains now for these two front doors is just the frame. There's no glass here. The owners of my gyro say this rock and this shattered glass that you see in this bin were all over the floor this morning and had to be cleaned up. For watching News 12 Connecticut, witnesses told police a group of people were walking down the street when they were approached by two men who opened fire on them. You can still see some of the impact made by that accident. The cars have been cleared from the scene, but still there's glass all over here. The side of the road Roadway. In the roadway, we have oil that's still being absorbed up. And then here you have these tire tracks. Again, Tom, she was out here earlier today with other family members. And I want you to take a look down this way at the memorial. You can see at this point they've swept away the shattered glass and straightened it up. They described this cleanup process today as very frustrating. The Westport police chief says that the suspect had arranged to be here, had sought an advertisement about buying and selling diamonds. And many in this community today say what happened happened next has them in shock. Hello, I'm Sarah Hagan and here's what's making news around southwestern Connecticut. Norwalk police Aww. issued two tickets after a man was hit by a car early Saturday, one to the driver and one to the victim. Officers ticketed 23 year old Joe Young, who they say wasn't in the crosswalk when he was struck by the vehicle outside Club 77 on Washington Street and a pedestrian is hit while crossing what residents call a dangerous intersection in one local community. It's a story you'll see only on News 12 Connecticut.